All right. So in problems up until this point that we've dealt with, with moles and grams and moles and molecules, the relationships that we've talked about is between, I'm going to make my fonts a little bigger. The relationship this, that we've talked about are between moles and molecules. So we can convert between these guys really easily. We've got molecules. The other thing that we talked about was atoms. Okay. And the way we convert there is using your 6.0 to your times 10 to the 23rd, your Avogadro's number. Okay. The other conversion we talked about was between moles and grams. And there we used our molar mass. And so those were nice one-step problems, which were nice and easy for us to do. And so what I'm doing now is asking you to take those concepts and apply them together. And so I'm asking you in this problem to go from molecules to grams. Now, we've never done that before. We've gone from molecules to moles and moles to grams, but we've never gone from moles, molecules to grams. And you don't have to. You don't have to do it in one step. You can do it in two steps. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with my given, which is 2.5 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And I'm going to first get into moles, because once I'm in moles, I then know how to get into grams. So I'm going to crisscross swoosh. I'm going to put molecules on bottom. Okay. And I'm going to put moles up top. Now, I'm not done, so I'm not going to put in my numbers yet. I'm going to go one more time, because I don't want to stay in moles. I want to get into grams, so I'm going to put moles on bottom to get rid of them. And I'm going, to put, I'm going to put grams up top, all right? So the first relationship is nice and easy. I know that there are 6.02, Avogadro's number, times 10 to the 23rd molecules in one mole. Now the next relationship, grams per mole, that relates to my molar mass. And so as you notice for this compound that I gave you, calcium phosphate, I don't have my formula yet, so you guys have to write it. You can't just say it's CaPO4 because you'll get the wrong answer. So to make an ionic compound, you've got to cross your charges. So I've got Ca2+, and I've got PO4 with a 3 minus charge. And so when I cross my charges, I get Ca3 in parentheses PO4-2. And so now I'm going to go and I'm going to calculate my molar mass. I'm going to do it in my calculator. I'm not actually going to write it out, but I will talk you through it. For calcium, calcium has a molar mass of 40.08. You're going to multiply that by 3 because you've got 3 of them. And then to that, you're going to add the mass of phosphorus, which is 30.97. And you're going to multiply it by 2 because you've got 2 phosphoruses here represented by that 2. Then to that, you're going to add the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16 times 8, because you have 8 oxygens. And so I get a final molar mass, which I'll put next to grams, like I always do, of 310.18. And then I put a 1 next to moles. And then all I've got to do is plug and chug. So I've got 2.5 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. I'm going to divide that by and make sure the Avogadro's number is in parentheses, the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd, make sure it's in parentheses. Then I'm going to multiply that by 310.18. And so what I end up getting from my final answer is 128.81. My units are grams because my molecules canceled, my moles canceled, I'm in grams. Now I want two sig figs, so this is just going to round to 130 grams. And I'm done. That was it. So rather than being a one stepper like these guys are, going from molecules to grams, or I could even ask you to go from grams to molecules, that's going to be two steps. Keep it all in one problem and then just plug it all into your calculator so you don't have issues with rounding. And that's it.